<laughs> cool. No uh, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's move on to what we want to talk about uh, with you guys today. Uh, this is something that's been rattling in our brains for a while. Um, the idea of essentially, I don't know, what's the word for that again? It was... Uh, uh, imitation versus inspiration, right? Right. No. No? No, ladies and gentlemen, this is an example of how awful we are at producing this program. Oh, we, we, we wanted to talk about, we wanted to talk about, um, um, like... It was... I know it was. I, I got it. Don't worry about it. It's your money. It's your money. Sir just got me. You got it. So, I shouldn't be on the show right now. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, That's so, a nerve. <laughs> so essentially, right, uh, we wanted to talk about the idea of, you know, do, are artists obligated to keep their music on streaming services? Um, what? What yeah, was that? So, well, that was what we Good. talked to. I yeah. realized no, my I mistake know. now. That's yeah, okay. Uh, so, no, yeah. So, essentially, like, you know how you have a bunch of people, like, on, like, I don't know, SoundCloud and, like, Spotify, and artists really aren't getting, like, in my opinion, appropriately compensated for all their work. Uh, so, you have other streaming services, like Bandcamp, you know, trying to, you know, fill in the gap where you can actually purchase those things. Um, but, like, how do you guys feel about that, about the idea of, you know, um, do artists have an obligation to, you know, serve their fans? Um, Fan service was the buzzword, Henry. Fan service <laughs> was fan. Yeah, so fan service. How do you guys feel about that? Well, I, I mean, I don't think you're essentially obligated to do it, but I do think like in this day and age, it's a very good idea, and it's a great way to build a fan base. And if all of a sudden your fan base is so used to having your stuff on Spotify and Apple Music, and then you just take it down in what... I think can be seen as a way of to just like want more and more money. I think that there's a chance that you're going to lose a lot of that loyalty that you've cultivated. And you really, so you really think for. people would like, like stop listening. Well, it's so much harder to access music if it's not on the right. internet. And yeah. uh, Bandcamp is great. Sure. Our music's on Bandcamp. Like you don't have to pay for it at all, but I like that there's that option. And I think that that should be an option exactly. that's more widely used. But, I mean, personally, if somebody isn't on Bandcamp, Spotify, or Apple Music, and I don't like, love them, I'm not going to go buy a physical copy of it. Well, it's not always, it's not always the, the listener's choice to stop listening to this music. You know, if it becomes inaccessible, you know, that's it. You can't really, you're not going to have the luxury of, of, you know, pulling it up on the spot. You're, you're going to have to, you know, spend money on it. Exactly. Wants to do that. And, like, no one has a CD player anymore. Cars don't have CDs. Your laptop doesn't have a CD drive. That made me so sad. I Mine know, does. It's yeah, I, I have a CD, CD port in my car. Uh, so. Yeah, okay. no, I still buy CDs. I don't use any streaming services because I'm very passionately against them. Really? I am, yes. I Ooh. hate streaming services. However, I do agree with Grace that, um, like... I think it is good for artists to have like their music on streaming services because that's what most people listen to nowadays and it makes it easier and it helps like bands like us and like smaller yeah. bands build a fan base and like get heard, you know? And um, it's a lot easier than if we don't put anything out on any streaming services and we're only like, you can only listen to our music if you pay for it. Exactly. Or you or you can only give out CDs at yeah. shows you play. Right. You know? So you only listen to music on CDs then? You don't... So you don't have music on your phone? I do, yeah. Okay. No, I use iTunes, but I buy okay. all my CDs, oh, okay. um, or I buy it off of like Bandcamp. Right. See, this, this, so this idea came about because um, uh, a band that we listened to, that's actually from Henry's hometown, Deal Casino, uh, they, they had music up on Spotify, and I loved their music, and then they, they removed a lot of their songs. Like, they removed, they removed all older music. Yeah, it was older music. Because they're sort of going through a rebranding or a you know, transformation in their sound, um, and they chose to take earlier music off streaming services um, and only sort of keep on key songs like on their SoundCloud. Um, so I guess like, yeah. so I guess like the, the, the question really is like, truly don't artists like have the right to have control over, you know, the kind of image they want to project in the world, the kind of, you know, like Taylor Swift, like she like purposefully removed all the stuff from Spotify to make a point. But right? see, that's... <laughs> Here we I go. I will get very heated over Taylor Swift. <laughs> you know, that's, she's making a lot of money. She's making 10 times more money than Deal Casino is making, you know? Yeah. I mean, just in the nature of that she's a global artist. So 
when she takes her music off YouTube and you know Spotify and these services that make it accessible for young people or really people of any age who want to listen to their music for inspiration because they you know they love her music, you know it becomes this thing where they can't do that anymore, which is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should have all the control over your music that you can't. Like, it's That's what true. you've made. It's your art. But it doesn't mean that you necessarily should, and it's necessarily going to be a positive thing for your brand. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for artists having control, but I don't think that's the way to do it. Okay. No, I get that. That makes sense. It makes sense. It's in the control of the artist, but it's not always the right or the best move yeah. for your fans. Totally get it. Yeah. So that was a nice conclusion that we just came to. <laughs> Good job, boss. We figured it out. <laughs> we cracked the code. Here, here at Live Sound, <laughs> we solve problems in the world. Uh, 